All right, today we are going to take some simple products and we are going to make some little jars of jam for the dollhouse. Or they could be jars of anything. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy this is to do. All right, so we are calling these jam jars of jam, and I'm going to label mine as jars of jam. But you can label them anything you want to. We're starting with clear pony beads, and I'm only making four jars, but I've got five beads in case one runs away before I get set up here. I already almost lost one in the process of turning the camera on. So I have some golf tees, and I have some of that poster stuff that you buy. Um, to, I don't remember what it's called, but it's the stuff that you, it's a putty-like stuff that you put behind your posters to stick them on the wall. I think it's actually called poster putty. There used to be a brand called Blue Tack that was blue colored. Um, most stores seem to have it, so it's pretty easy to get, at least in the U.S. So I just put a gob of that on the tip of the golf tee, and I push the bead down. It goes up inside of the bead. I want the beads held pretty securely because I don't want them to fall once I get them wet, get the coating on them. Um, yeah, this wasn't necessarily what I was planning to make this week, but I ran into issues with my computer and spent more time setting up a new printer than I thought I would, so I ran out of time to do what I was going to do. So this I figured would be really quick. So I'm putting these on pretty securely. I don't want them running away. Just a little bit more. If you look really close, you can see my finished jam jar over there that just rolled over. All right. So I'm going to make four flavors of jam or marmalade or jelly or whatever. So the first one I'm going to start, because it takes two colors, is orange marmalade. And because I didn't have a good orange that looked right, I'm putting yellow underneath. And I will have the specific colors of nail polish that I'm using in the blog post. But I'm putting a nice coat on here. And I'm using a clear pony bead because it allows me to have, because between the clear bead and the um, the nail polish, it allows light to travel through. So it looks like a translucent jar, like a jar of jelly. Now this is an Avon color. It's this is to be our ras to represent like a raspberry or a berry jam or jelly. I'm calling them all jam today because I think I'm only going to make one type of label. You want a nice smooth coat. And you can put a second coat on. In fact, I probably will off camera come back and put a second coat on. Now you want something that looks more like a strawberry, you use a red nail polish. This particular color it has been discontinued from Avon, but any red, any deep red. Alright, the trick is setting that golf tee down so it doesn't fall. And I'm going to make a purple like a grape jelly or a grape jam. You can make any color and if you're doing something other than a jam or jelly you could make your your, uh, use any color of nail polish because remember nail polish comes in almost every color you can imagine. I would just stay, if you're making like a food thing like a jam or a jelly, I would stay away from the the uh, pearly or glittery colors but for regular jars those will work really well too. Now that yellow should be dry enough the yellow and the orange are both LA colors from um, Dollar Tree. By taking the yellow, and then this orange I've got is a fairly sheer orange. I'm putting that over. 
it turns into a color that looks more like a um, more the color of orange marmalade. So I'm going to let those dry. I'm going to come back and on the ones that only have one coat so far, I'll put a second coat on. When that's dry, we'll go to our next step. All right, we have our um, nail polish. The second coat is on and they're all dry. So now it's time to create some labels. And we're going to start out, this is just a scrap of computer paper or printer paper. Um, it was on the bottom of something I had to print out yesterday. I'm going to draw two lines that are a quarter inch apart. We are making really tiny, tiny, tiny labels. I'm going to draw a line here. Those were a quarter inch. Then this one, I'm going to draw a line an eighth of an inch up. I'm going to go up a ways. I'm trying to keep this all squared. It's a little easier when I can have my head right over it, but from here it looks okay. We'll see. We have four of them. I'm just making these little marks. I find it's much, much easier to create a label if I make this little grid-like place to do. It gives me cutting lines and it gives me lines for where my writing has to be. Now, you need a really, really fine tipped pen. Now you could try doing this on your computer if you've got a program that makes a small enough font. This is my favorite pen for writing really finely. It's a precise V5RT from Pilot. Make sure it's this style and not the style that looks like a, like a felt tip. These have a really very fine tip. And I can go into this spot and it's not gonna be fancy. It's just going to be like that. Now, take my scissors. And yeah, if you're not trying to do a video, you can go, you can take your time and go a little neater, make your writing fancier. Or like I said, you might, you might have a program on your computer that would print out small enough font. I'm not sure. I didn't even check because I didn't take the time this morning. Now, I'll make myself a little little place here where I can put these. And I'm leaving a little of the pencil line. You could even use like a um, a gold uh, gel pen or something to make that line. That would be really pretty. See, I have to retrieve that one. All right, so I got my four labels here. Now I'm going to put just a little bit of glue. You could use glue, you could use Mod Podge. I've got the glue here. So I'm put just a little bit out. I may or may not need more, I'm not sure. I'm going to kind of wipe it out. Now, take one of these. And I'm going to kind of just rub it through there. Now, when we put these on here, we are assuming that this is the bottom and the top of our jar is at the top, is against there. So, I want to make sure I don't get my label on backwards. You can use tweezers if that helps you. The biggest thing is try not to have excess glue that oozes out from underneath. And you want very, very little glue because you don't want to um, make the ink in the pen. I'm going to have to have a little more. Kind of get my finger damp. Just kind of wipe that across the glue. It doesn't take much. Now, get the extra glue off of my finger. I'm going to put this on and hopefully it will stay. This is somewhat fiddly, but they look pretty cool when they're done. If you get glue onto the, um, the jar, it's going to probably make a mark. And we might 
and let's see if we can do it with a pair of tweezers. Uh, where did I put my tweezers? Let's see if my tweezers will work. Again, pull that through there. Get any extra glue off. That might work better. Let's see. And you could put a, you could make this into a perfume bottle or a cream, you know, a lotion bottle, whatever. There's lots of like face creams and things come in jars that are shaped like this. Jam comes in them. All kinds of things. Just depends on where you need jars. I don't think I've got glue on the whole thing. There we go. There. So now we have lids, or we have labels. Now let's do lids. So let's pull this off. There's so little glue on there, it's going to dry really fast. But it's easier to handle them when they're on there. And you could let them sit for a while if you want to make sure that that glue is dry so you don't move your label. Now, we are going to use some craft foam to make lids. And you can use any color. I picked up a white one right now. Earlier when I was playing with this, I used black. But craft foam comes in all kinds of colors. Now I'm just going to use my hole punch. I'm going to punch four. And this is just a regular cheap hole punch from the office products aisle at the dollar store. Those are usually about a quarter inch in diameter so they are perfect for this. Now we need some more glue out. And we need those tweezers back. Now we're going to hold on to our jar. We're going to dip it down in there. Make sure you have glue on the whole top. And there, whoopsie. And try not to knock it loose with your thumb. Got a little extra glue. Hopefully it won't make too big of a mark. Again, let's get our lid right there. And try not to drop it like I seem to be doing today. I think I had too much coffee and not enough to eat yet, which is kind of the story of my life. That's kind of what I do every day. Okay. on there. Now you could use a color of foam. It would be that would be really pretty. Make sure your labels are all right side up in comparison to your lids. But I like to make this the top because sometimes that um, that poster tack stuff will leave a mark and we don't always get our um, nail polish all the way to the top. Now if you can find pony beads that are the color you want them to be you could use those, but I like having a big bottle, a big bag of the clear ones. Then I can make them any color I want them, instead of the colors that they come in. All right, so there we go. That glue needs to dry. When that's dry, I'll come back and we'll take a look at our finished jars of jam. All right, the glue is dry on our little project. So that is our little jar jars of jam for the dollhouse, or. They could be little jars of whatever you want to label them as. They could be anything. Just use your imagination and either, you know, color the pony beads like I did today or use pre-colored ones. I like the control of having, being able to color them just the color I want. That way you could coordinate them with your room too if you wanted to do that. So if you make any of my projects, be sure and send me a picture. I'd love to see what you're working on. If you have any special requests, be sure and let me know. 
If you haven't found the Facebook page, be sure and hop over there and join us because uh, we have a lot of fun over there and it's probably, for the most part, it's the quickest way to get a hold of me most days. Some days I kind of avoid Facebook, but I'm on most, most days I'm on several times. Um, there will be better pictures of the jars on the blog post than what I can get onto the video because just because the bigger pictures don't work well on the video format. So um, that's our project for today. I will talk to you later. Bye.